Okay, Daryl. Yes. What's your point? The, the, point, the only point I was trying to make, if, if there's two distinctions. Be careful. One important <laughs> one is what we need to do uh, in the education sector to prepare people for green jobs. Okay. 100% <clears throat> agree we should be staging people uh, to move into that industry. The problem is going to be long term whether or not that industry can sustain itself without government su subsidies. And will corporate America eventually embrace the green industry enough to provide enough jobs at a reasonable enough salary where it has a long-term future. future. And, that and, is, is a big part of the issue. And the issue is the same as it is for any other uh, sector in business. You know, American sort of policy has been hands off on, mm -hmm. on business. And so, although it's a great thing, it's sort of a, a shift again in, uh, in policy. And the thing is, uh, do we see that really happening? Yeah, and I don't know necessarily that American uh, poli uh, policy uh, position has been hands off on business. In fact, I think the government has been very much involved in sort of guiding through mandates, was the point originally, um, how we, uh, how businesses function. Through mandates, not necessarily through direct provision in terms of spending. When the government gets engaged in spending uh, to generate some sort of, uh, you know, fill some need, it, the programs never end. And they're, they go on forever and ever. That's why I think, uh, for instance, public housing is a really cool model. We went from primarily government-provided public housing mm -hmm. to a market-driven voucher program that allowed more people to have access to market housing. I think it's a decent uh, example of what kind of public-private par partnership can exist where it's not government signing the check at the end of the day or government providing the service, okay. but the government encouraging people and supporting them in the marketplace. Um, but with this issue, the market has to desire this. Right. And, and right now, there's not evidence okay, that the right. market she, desires And that's it. the key point. In, in order for sustainability to be real, people have to desire these results. We, people have to dictate through their um, spending habits, through their demands, um, what corporations end up doing. Corporations just responds to the needs of the yeah. people. And so if we can create a consciousness, with, for students, the North American Alliance for Green Education is one that um, attempts to create a critical mass of understanding and, and idea creation around this whole notion of consciousness, around this, this notion of the importance of the green sector, of green um, consciousness. If those sort of efforts fan out, then we'll see corporations, we'll see the government fall in lockstep, and this will be a sustainable venture. Yeah, but don't, don't you think that then, then the honest is on the curriculum to start having to greening and having those conversations embedded into the traditional landscape of other different disciplines then? I, 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 yes, but I... It, because we're to, talking about the social responsibility of the ivory tower. But you've got to change culture. You've got to yeah. change But that's desires. where the culture change comes, no? It does, but 60, more than 60% of the students surveyed said they want to see these types of courses. They want to see this consciousness. And what are academic yeah, institutions the doing? Real they're creating these programs. Rashid, is not whether they want to see the courses, what they're going to buy when they go to the store. They're going to buy the environment. That is the big yes. question. Right? Yeah, that's that's the real the question. That's that's at a consumer that's level, not just an, uh, that's true. an education level. Because if the average consumer isn't concerned about the environment and does not spend their money, it won't matter, it, it won't matter one that's bit. Look, it will not matter. Look what uh, Ted's talking about. Go, go to Whole Foods and go to Jewel or mm -hmm. uh, Aldi, and you're paying how much more right, for absolutely. how much better? If right. you can't afford it, you just right. can't afford it. I had a woman it, say to me good. just recently at referring to Whole Foods as if she said it was whole check. Because <laughs> yeah. how much it costs <laughs> for to go into yeah. spit versus going across the street to Dominic's. Yeah. You don't have it. You just don't and have I it. Have it. Well, it did, so do we not create a <laughs> curriculum that, that encourages our students to think entrepreneurially? Yeah, you do. And so that's why we see to, to, to find a way to think innovatively of how do we make these things affordable. Yeah. I mean, I like the <laughs> idea of a, of a great green car, but I don't think Tesla should own it. Tesla has a corner well, on the market. Speaking yeah. of green cars, the uh, Target that opened by my house, Literally, when they first opened, they're a couple years old. They had spaces for hybrid cars. Right. I live on the south side of Chicago. <laughs> you you right? parked on it. <laughs> <laughs> and no one listen. He but does they, it they, for they, the they're empty. Does does it so, so they, listen. So for a while, they were there. empty. No one was right. parking there, and then eventually, everybody <laughs> started parking there because <laughs> nobody had a hybrid car. Well, I can't afford right. a hybrid car, but I swear, if you guys get a <laughs> nice curriculum and, together, and that, is, that is part of the stumbling block: is that being more green usually costs more money. And but it shouldn't. But it does. But, but it, it shouldn't. But it, it does for right okay, now. Okay, we got to wrap it up. Okay, we got to wrap it up. 
But when, but, but when the it's a good stop. Right, when, 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 the last word. What we know, the last but what we know about economics is when the industry expands, economies of scale will kick into place, and goods will be cheaper and more affordable. So it's, it's really about us start. sustaining this effort. Yeah. Okay. All right, Roger that then. Thank you all. <laughs> Thank you.